Good morning. Good morning. I love how like every video starts with us just like slowly like, backing up. Please work. Please up. work. <laughs> <laughs> Happy mm. Thursday. Welcome back. Welcome. Um, we missed you. Last you week. are live on your personal. No, you're no, not. I'm not. <laughs> not again. <laughs> no. Weird. It said, well, it said that we were live on yours. Must have been a notification from my personal one saying oh got it your, yeah your friend out of hand is live got it i just was like i was just having a bit of a heart attack yeah a little second. bit of ptsd for yeah. me and i went live on my personal instagram and not the store's instagram <laughs> it was a good day yeah <laughs> anyway happy thursday happy back to school yes calgary happy fall apparently uh -huh. <laughs> calgary kids went back this week they sure did our kids go back next week mm. they're and... not calgary kids no we're outside the city limits. Oh, so we're in a, the county calendar, not the oh. city one. Go figure. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they're not excited about it, but they'll get over it. I have a hilarious story to share from a couple weeks ago. I think one of the days I was working for you. Okay. Um, so I wore a dress. Okay. Okay. Um, it was this cute little like white newsprint. Everybody's like, oh my God, did you make that? Anyways. No. No, I didn't. <laughs> of course not. Anyways. Um, so cute. Lots of compliments on it. I was like feeling cute. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I should order another one of these. Like, it's just super comfortable, easy to wear. It was like longer. It was a nightgown. <laughs> <laughs> it was a night dress. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I went to. <laughs> I, I love went my on, night dress. I went to look at the uh, other patterns, and it was like night. Nightwear. Did they have like moons and stuff? Just lots of things. Well, Anyways, nobody knew. Nobody knows it's a night dress. So if you saw me here in a nightgown, mind your own business. <laughs> uh oh, we lost our Facebook. Um, oh, well, let's see what Hopefully, happens. Facebook comes back. <laughs> um. Good morning. Do you have any EPP kits? We do have, no, oh, basement's back. We do have some EPP kits. Um, well, are, are you meaning the starter kit? I think we should do more starter kits I because know. I would like to try EPP. Ooh, slippery slope. Yes. <laughs> um, it's been on my list to do them. I just haven't gotten that far down the list. <laughs> the, list yes. the list, uh, it shape shifts, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we'll make that more of a pri priority. For like a starter kit, or I'm wondering if you're meaning like the whole. Um, oh, like a whole like quilt all the papers, because we do have EPP packs for a whole quilt. Um, or I'm wondering if you're talking about the starter kit. But anyway, we'll do both. We already have the one, but I wonder is your phone um because we got new Wi-Fi. Is your phone on the new Wi-Fi? Probably not. No. <laughs> Um, I wonder if that's the problem. Anyway, I don't know. Having trouble on Facebook. Okay. Have nothing, no numbers. Okay. So we'll do some starter kits where you could get all like okay. the needles, the little um, leather thimble sticky that we like. Did I ever see needles, sew tights, leather thimble, thread, gluey thing? And the glue. Yes. Um, you and do me you both, girlfriend. I want to start. I know nothing. <laughs> Do I want maybe to try we should do should I try reconnecting to this? Can you add um the Wi-Fi? Hold on. Um, Hold up. Whoa, hey, Facebook. <laughs> <Hold> <laughs> I'm gonna Here's try and get our connection to be better. Hold on. Um so we're that one. Oh, okay. And there's the new password. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing with passwords. They're yeah, all she very does. long and complicated. Okay, and maybe we'll maybe we'll add an EPP intro class to the fall yes, list again. I would love that, actually. Okay, I'm sorry, Facebook. This okay, is we'll add some personal. <laughs> we'll add that, and then once we get Leslie connected to the Wi-Fi on her phone and not back on Facebook land, okay. we will get on with the regularly scheduled program. Okay. All right, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> We're okay. back. We're okay. back. Let's finish. Okay. So let's finish. Let's get started. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. First on the list, um, Kim did another kit. She is on a roll. She is on a roll. Um, 
so this this a customer came in I think a couple of weeks ago with K facets seed packet um, pattern. It's a free pattern from Free Spirit, so that's the cover of the pattern. So what it is is basically just squares where you fussy cut the flowers Clever. from his fabrics, yes. bigger flowers in the middle, and then two rows of smaller flowers on the outside. So it's called Seed Packet. That is so cute. So we did up um, a little kit for that. So the, all the fabric you need for the top plus stripey binding. Cute. Uh -huh. So and little, like, little bit of instruction to go with the pattern. Just that cut your big flowers first, then cut the smaller ones so that you're sure to have enough big ones. Uh -huh. So that's the seed packet. Okay. Okay. Oh, and then last week, Rosalind and I talked about concrete jungle, which is just so beautiful. And I wasn't sure if we were going to bundle it because we're still maybe going to get more, but we're not sure. So anyway, we just decided to fat quarter what we had. So it's a nice um, 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 15 pieces. Did you have a favorite from this one? Yes, I think it was this one. I just think it's so... I just love the neutral, modern look of it. Ooh, this one's cool, too. <laughs> like, I like this one because it's big. Big floral. Ooh. Oh, and the little polka dots that are... Oh, that's cute. Oh, that one, maybe it's... We'll show this side so that people can know what you're talking about. <laughs> the polka dots and the yeah, flower. I really love that a lot. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, so that is ready in store. We'll be online here shortly. Yes. Oh, I have a little show and tell. Oh, yeah. Um, Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Marilyn, who's, I'm sure, here. Anyways, um, the new line, the wandering line, um, Andover, mm -hmm. from Andover, um, made this cute little pouchy pouch um so it's the it's a free pattern from zipper zoo it's called the magic pouch pattern and then i just made some modifications on it to incorporate like the little notion pouch um and the handle but oh, that's so cute yes the magic pouch pattern in this beautiful fabric wandering yes wandering wanderer wandering. Wandering. wandering wandering i get confused between wandering and the wanderer pattern from red Rose. Um, I am obsessed with that line still. Like, it's just, it calls to me every time I walk past it. I'm like, no, Leslie, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Then the other thing that's not new to the store, but new online is, um, all of our, Kiki's asking if you made it to sell. Uh, <laughs> no, Kiki, it's already claimed by Marilyn. You'll have to thumb wrestle her. <laughs> that's two out of three. <laughs> um, the thread, our thread gatherer threads that have always been here, but they're now available online. So that was a labor of love. Yeah. Because they all had to be. Wow. And I just. So there's the Aurora, which is this kind of like sparkly one. And then. It's truly amazing. How many different threads there are. I had no idea how like, many threads there are. So this one, this these little. are two different ones. I'll take this. So this is silken colors. Wow, um, those are so pretty. Which I think. Um, anyway, and then this is silken pearl. And these, I just love every time I walk by these on the wall. I have to like run my fingers through them because they just are they have such a pretty so sheen. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Oh man. Um, so the silken colors, silken pearl, the aurora, and then silken Ooh. chenille, which Ooh. I also love to like run my fingers through. So squishy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's very like satisfactory to yes. play with them like this. So yeah, silken chenille. Um, we're still working our way through. I think we have um there's a few more of the thread gathers that we're still working through. And then next will be the weeks. <clears throat> Marilyn will sell it to Kiki for $500. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Um, yes, amazing. What yes. do you like? You what would be like the things people use these for? Like in general, um, embroidery. So anything really, and like, they would all be used for that, depending, yeah, I guess, on what like texture. On, yeah, a lot of Sue Spargo mm -hmm. embellishment. Right, that makes sense for different textures and like thicknesses for all your stitches. And, That's amazing. Um, and then the Aurora for a little, little sparkle, mm -hmm. little shine. I cool. Don't know if you can see that. Who would have thought? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so we're still working our way. Through. This I think might be my favorite. This one. Mm. Well, I don't know. It's hard to pick a favorite, but anyway, I did love that bundle with the teals and the purples. Mm. So that's the thread gather thread. Oh, we got new blenders. A few new blenders. Oh, exciting. Um. Oh, bumbleberries from Lewis and Irene. I like these. So the pretty subtle. Um, and we didn't get all the colors. Just I really like those a lot. Black, white, and gray. The bumbleberries. I like that they are non-directional. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just a little bit of texture there. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So those are bumbleberries from Lewis and Irene, and then those stars from Macauer. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> Macauer always has like the cutest little tiniest <laughs> prints. So the blue and the green, and then this one's pinks and greens and aqua, which is really pretty. Mm -hmm. Very, very cute. I love that. Okay, then, oh, and, and a book we haven't mm. um, talked about. Which the is a half square triangle. I took a cruise through it and it's pretty cool. It is cool. Yeah. We had um, a customer request that we that we bring it in. And then there's like lots of good ideas on how to use a half square triangle. Because it is, you know, I have a love hate with half square triangles because they are so versatile. But all the trimming. Um, but once you trim them, they go together so nicely. I just cut out a quilt mm -hmm. that is all half square triangles. Oh yeah. And Which it's one? like a queen size. Oh, that's it's a be a lot of half square triangles. Um, it's the conservatory quilt from art gallery and it's just a free oh, pattern yeah. online. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that'll be uh comfy song then. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, the only thing I haven't cut out yet is like my background fabric. And it was like, I need like 290 squares <laughs> or something ridiculous. I'm like, I'll tackle that. Yes. A different day. So <laughs> see, you know, half square triangles, we'll talk about this quilt, this amazing mm -hmm. quilt behind us. So our friend Kathy made this quilt. It is all Liberty Tanalon. So and um, so the, the everything, like even the back is Liberty Lawn. And um, and then the the um, batting inside is Quilter's Dream Request. So it's like so light and airy like it's so beautiful this is the first time i've seen a fully like a quilt that's fully done in tan on and it's so like it just screams luxury yeah it's so it's beautiful so like whoa that's a nice that's a nice quilt <laughs> <laughs> and so there uh kathy actually did this pattern herself like she think about that <laughs> Yeah, and it's crazy. So I calculated how many half square triangles are in this quilt yeah. yesterday yeah. to make all the bear paw because it is a bear paw ball. 890. Whoa. Half square triangles. Wow. But e. it is so beautiful. And like just to stand here and look at it and like I spy all the different liberties. It's in all, stunning. Like, it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's really, really So great. when it came back from... Lila, our quilter, yesterday, I immediately phoned Kathy and said, pretty please, <laughs> can we hang it? So, yeah, it's it's amazing. It really it's is. stunning. Mm -hmm. And tell our friends what you said about the background. Oh, so the background, like, from a distance, uh, the like, all the little, like, wispy reds and, and greens that are in it, it looks like um, it was quilted in, like, different thread colors. And it's just so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. That is. Thanks for letting us hang it, Kathy. Yes. Okay. Last on our list is another a class that we've added for this fall. 
starts at the end of September, which is like not that far away. Just can't even. But anyway, <laughs> um, our friend Wendy Ennis, who is a phenomenal um, embroiderer, is going to be teaching this. So this is in issue 114 of Inspirations. It's called the Bee Eater. And so, and it has like, she'll be teaching this. This is called stump work when embroidery goes 3D or like raised off the, it's called stump work. But anyway, that is what the class is for to make this bee eater and these uh, orchids. Mm. I think they're orchids. Oh my gosh. Let me see this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. When, so, I, when I seen just the picture of it, I didn't realize that it was like three dimensional. Yeah. So the class is, um, for Monday afternoons starting oh, September first um, Monday in October and then we take the week off for Thanksgiving and then the last two are the two weeks after Thanksgiving um, so from noon no 12 30 to 4 each Monday and then um, and then, the, and then there's a kit that goes with it. The kit is not included in the class price. It, it is separate, but um, you will need the kit. That's going to be really cool. So yeah, so I'm amazing. excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, I just, we'll just take one more look. Yes, let's. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just like so beautiful. I'm so really we're excited, excited to have that. Wendy um, back here teaching. And I think that's... And then you're teaching your house in yes, again in October. So we had a lot of people who couldn't make it to the last one. So hopefully yes. this time you yeah. can make it if you wanted to do it. And if you have anything else that you would like to see as a class, let us know. Because sometimes I don't really know. It's so hard, right? Because like people will ask for things through the year. But then like. It's like you do it and then there's like doesn't give you much interest or, you know, or or you just throw one out there and it's like, boom, waitlist it like that. And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> See what sticks, I guess. Yeah. So, OK, I think that's it. Um, Marlene says it's gorgeous, which I'm yes. sure she's referring to this beauty behind mm -hmm. this. Is. Um, I got a haircut and I'm just like, it looks so uh, good, though. But, but it's like in my eyes. But it, it's just it's so nice. And what are you doing different for the curls? Because, uh, like, the curls are, like, whoa, they're so formed and bouncy. Um, I put more water in it, actually, before I diffuse it dry. How do you diffuse it? Upside down or just around? Both. <laughs> How long does it take you to do your hair? Not that long. Shorter than when I used to blow it dry and straighten it. <laughs> they're just so formed and soft. <laughs> Mine just get, like, crunchy. Well, we'll talk about that. Just got to scrunch the crunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll have a great week. Yes. Oh, and a long weekend. We're closed oh, yes, Monday. Yes, yes, so yes, we'll have yes. a great long weekend. And we'll see you next week. Yes, you will. There's new stuff on the way. So we'll have <laughs> exciting <laughs> week next week. <laughs> yes. Okay. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.